Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a load balancer using Nginx using the image available from the Azure Marketplace. So, from the link in the description box, come to this marketplace listing and from here you want to create a new virtual machine for that simply click on get it now and then click on continue. And then from this page, you want to click on create. So, you would be taken to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So, simply choose the subscription. Then select a resource group or create a new one. Give your virtual machine a name. I am going to call it load balancer. Choose the region where you want your Linux virtual machine to be deployed. Scroll down. Choose the size according to your requirements. And for the authentication, either choose the SSH public key or a password protected access. So I am going to go with SSH public key. Choose the username. And then when you are satisfied with everything, simply click on review plus create. And then after the validation has passed, scroll down. Choose the name and the email address and then when you are completely satisfied, simply click on create. Then it is going to prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So simply click on it and place the private key in a specific folder because this is the key that you will be using to connect to the SSH terminal for your virtual machine. Then you simply have to wait for the deployment to complete. Once the deployment is complete, simply click on go to resource. And then from here you want to connect to the SSH terminal so for that simply click on connect and choose SSH. And now from here simply copy this command, either open up a new command prompt or a powershell, paste in the command and replace the path for the private key for the path where you have downloaded your private key. So after replacing the path simply hit enter and when prompted type in yes and hit enter. So this is going to convert this command prompt into an open SSH terminal and it is going to connect to your virtual machine. So now, let's move on to configuring our load balancer using the Nginx. So, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to move inside the directory of Nginx. For that, the command is cd forward slash etc forward slash Nginx. And in here, you want to check for the directory which is the configuration.d. So, head inside that directory using the command cd conf.d. And in here, you want to create a new configuration file. So the command is sudo nano and then the name that you want to give to your configuration. So I am going to call it load balancer.conf and hit enter. Now inside this file, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to set up a reverse proxy. Now this reverse proxy is going to gather all of the requests coming to our virtual machine and pass them to the load balancer. So the command for that is server double curly brackets and inside here I am simply going to use the keyword listen to listen to port number 80 and then I am going to use the keyword location forward slash a pair of curly brackets to create a reverse proxy and use the keyword proxy underscore pass and then I am going to paste in the name of my load balancer so I am going to create my load balancer with the name notes so I am going to type notes but here is the thing you cannot simply type the name of the load balancer what you have to do is that you have to add in http colon forward slash forward slash with the nodes. And then inside the server tag, you also want to give the IP address of your virtual machine. So type the keyword server underscore name and to get the IP, simply go back to portal.azure, go back one step. From here, you can see the public IP address. So copy this public IP address, go back to the command prompt and paste in the IP address over here. Now. The next thing that you want to do is that you want to create that load balancer with the name nodes. So type in the keyword upstream and then the name which is nodes double curly brackets and inside these curly brackets we are going to specify the servers. So basically we are simply going to set up some IP addresses with different port numbers assuming that they are different individual servers. We can set up our local host but that would make this tutorial very long. So to keep this tutorial very short I am simply going to use the keyword server and my IP address colon and the port number 8000. Similarly, I'm going to add three more lines. Now these servers are going to work as a load balancer, but since they are not actual servers, we won't be able to get any display on the browser. So to make sure that our load balancer is working, we will be using a logger. So inside the server tag, we're going to set up a logger with the command access underscore log and then the path to the logger, which is forward slash where forward slash log forward slash nginx forward slash access dot log and then we are going to give it a name let's say upstream log now that we have set our log we want to specify the thing that would be printed to that log file so type the keyword log format type the name upstream log 
and then in between the single quotation marks we can define the variables that are to be printed to this log file. So let's start off with the server name on which the request was received and the server name on which the request was passed to. And then let's simply add in the time it took for the request. So we use the variable msec which stands for millisecond and then request underscore time and use the variable request underscore time. So that should be enough. So Ctrl O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit. Now what we want to do is that we want to verify the syntax of this configuration file. So the command is sudo nginx space hyphen t. And as you can see that the syntax is ok. Now we can move on to restarting our nginx. So the command is sudo nginx hyphen s reload. After that what we want to do is that we want to tail command our log file. So the command is sudo tail hyphen f the path to the log file which is forward slash where forward slash log forward slash engine x forward slash access dot log okay so basically after every request a new line would be added to this log file and that new line would be printed to our terminal so what we are going to do now is that we are simply going to open up our public ipv address a multiple times we won't get any output but we would be able to send request to our server so copy the address open up a new tab and paste in the address and send multiple requests to this server. So now I've sent like 6 requests to my server. So I'm going to head back to my SSH terminal. And as you can see that there were 6 different requests made to our virtual machine server. So all of these requests were passed to a load balancer. And the server that was selected were 8001, 8002 and 8003. And then 8001, 8002 and 8003. So basically we can conclude that our load balancer is working perfectly fine. And in case you have some backend servers running, you would get those backends over here. So that brings us to the end of this video. So in case of any query, leave that query in the comment section and check out the link in the description box for the image from the Azure Marketplace and the step-by-step -step blog post guide to help you set up your Nginx load balancer. And in case this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.